to be creating this set that I did for Pride. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. As you can see my nails are shiny and that is because I have applied a peel off base coat so there won't be any prep in this video. We're just going straight into it. I have left this in real time so you can see just how quick it is. I am using this uh, glue gel thing that I've got from AliExpress. I just wanted to test it out with these tips and I can confirm. I've used it on a different hand and they have lasted for, well it's been two weeks now and I've got no lifting so it is good. Um, as you saw there I just got my tip and scraped a little bit into it. I have placed it at the cuticle area and rocked it down so that we don't get any bubbles and I'm just holding it under my little tulip lamp there um, I did have a little bit of spill because I used a little bit too much um, it's trial and error when you're using a new product but because it's quite thick it was easy to just wipe it off and then I've popped it back under there and here we are with the next one so you can see I'm just scooping a little bit out on there, I got too much so I wiped, it, wiped a bit off. Turning my lamp on ready to go and placing it right where I want it to start in the cuticle area and then rocking it down, squeezing out all the air and then straight under the lamp. I'll hold it there for a bit and then when it's stuck to the nail I'll check to see if I've got any spillage. Any second now. <laughs> there we are. Just like that. It's a bit wonky. <laughs> and it's stuck on now, so I'm not going to take it off because this set is just going to get popped up, popped up, popped off afterwards. So yeah, I'm not going to put myself through ripping it off. But there we are so quick and easy I'll leave you to watch me finish these few fingers and I'll jump back in in a sec
so there we are as you can see that literally took five minutes well, less than five minutes so quick um so yeah this is definitely a great way to whack some tips on if you're looking to do them yourself at home or if you just wanted to change up your style quickly five minutes guys five minutes And just like that, we have them finished. Now I'm just going in with my e-file, going around the cuticle area and just making sure that the nail is flush to my nail and getting rid of any little bits of spillage that we might have had. I've sped this up now because otherwise the video would be very, very long. <laughs> And if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me do this a million times, just going around the cuticle area and buffing the top of the nail, making sure there's no spillage and that the nail is flush. I will afterwards use my hand buffer and buff the whole of the nail to make sure that it's nice and rough and ready, rough and ready, how I like my men, <laughs> um, ready for the gel polish to go on. Now we've finished with the e-file, I'm going in with my hand file. Oh, no, we've not finished. <laughs> I must have felt a little bump or something there. And I start to buff and then realise I haven't trimmed my tips. So I've got my tip cutter and I'm just putting my nail up against the other hand just to make sure they're the same length and then chopping it off, lobbing it off. If you like the nails in that, on the other hand, there is a video for those. So that'll be on my channel as well if you want to check that out. Right, now I've done that, I'm going with my hand file and just making sure that the end of the tip is straight and uh, sharp. And just getting the sides, making sure they're all perfect as well. Throwing up gang signs as usual with the file. <laughs> There we go. Don't know why I'm dusting because you're going to get the hand buffer now. And this is a 180 buffer from the gel bottle. These are my favourite buffers. I think they come in like a pack of 10 and it's about £12 or something. They're good value. Um, they last for ages as well. So this is the one that I use on my nails, but I won't use this on clients. Um, with my regular clients, what I do is I'll get an envelope and stick it in with their name on, uh, with their buffer and a normal file, so we can use them, because otherwise I have to chuck them in the bin and it's a waste, and it's expensive. <laughs> but we've buffed them all off, getting rid of the dust, and then I get a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, and uh, yeah, wipe all that dust off, make sure they're clean, and wiping underneath as well, in case there's any dust or sticky residue. And then I'm going in with my rubber base, which is also from Gel Bottle. It's my favourite rubber base. It's really nice and thick. And this will thicken up our nail a little bit and have it nice and sticky for our um, coloured polish that we're going to put on. I think I am mainly using Gel Bottle products today, other than my uh, Peel Off Base Coat and the glue that we used to stick the tips on. Everything else is Gel Bottle. There might be the odd colour from somewhere else, but we'll see as we go along. I can't quite remember. But this is the colour we're going in with. It's Hollow Hollow from the Gel Bottle. I love this. It's really good. If you're going to be doing like a silver chrome or maybe a full bling nail, this is gorgeous for that. And it's gorgeous just on its own. It's, um, it's really like really reflective. I really like this. We're going to do two coats of this making sure we go right up to the cuticle area but don't get it on your skin like I did I'm just wiping it off then <laughs> go a little bit out of frame there but I'm going to pop that on I think at first I wasn't sure if I was going to do it on every nail so I'm just doing it on a couple and then I end up putting it on all of them so I'll leave you to watch this
And you can see here now that's where I realized I actually want to put it on all the nails. So I'm just going in, went out of frame a little bit there, going in and doing a coat on every fingernail. And then I'll stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds and do a second coat. If you're watching this video and it's not your first time watching, thanks for coming back. And if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, come on guys, please help me out. Um, I'm trying to get into the habit of recording more videos. Well, I recorded a lot of videos a while ago, but I'm taking forever to upload them. Oops, sorry. I'm just going in now with some blooming gel. I'm going to make this nail kind of a marbled mix of all the colours of the rainbow. I'm doing a generous coat, not too thick, but you don't want to do it too thin, otherwise the um, the spreadage isn't enough. <laughs> so this colour, that was um, blue steel from the gel bottle, and then there's a purple from the gel bottle. Um, I don't know why I haven't shown what that colour was called, but let's see if I've got it here no I, I'll list in the uh, description or you can comment and ask if anyone's interested that's what we'll do if you want to know what any of the colours are leave a comment and I will list them um, and then this is the only colour that I'm using that's not from the gel bottle this yellow but that blue still I think I, if you've seen me use it before I always say I love that blue and then I'm going in with just a small liner brush just to kind of mix the colours up a little bit more because I'm impatient and can't wait for the blooming gel to do its job. Just trying to make sure that I've got a nice bit of every colour. A bit of orange. I decided to use the dotting tool after that. I'm just looking at it to see if I need any other colours and um, just play with it whilst it spreads itself out and wiping the edges. I should be wearing a glove when I do that. But you'll see I put it in the lamp there. That was for 60 seconds. And now I've got my little palette and a liner brush and now we're going to start drawing some lines for our uh, well, I say like we, they're all lines but um, I've done like different variations of shapes and stuff. I haven't drawn an actual flag because, you know, that's predictable. But I'm just going in and doing, we're going to do like a V shape on this nail. And I'm going in, that's with the blue steel and starting to draw my lines. And this nail is kind of like a chevron um, type flag. I've done my lines there with the blue and then I'm just going to use the brush from the bottle to fill in that bit rather than doing it just with a liner brush because it take forever and filling that bit in and then I will stick that in the lamp uh, I think I would do I do do 60 seconds because then I'll do a second layer of that so we get a full vibrant pop of the color and then after I've used the big brush I'm just going in with the liner again just to make sure that line is nice and sharp My liner brush is from a set that I bought on AliExpress, I believe. I think it was like five pounds for a good like seven, eight brushes. I'm just wiping the edges so we keep our edges sharp. Wiping it off my fingers. You really should do that with a glove. <laughs> it's not good to get uncured products on your skin. You should get allergies, dermatitis, and you can't use gel anymore. And then I stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I take it out and... Now I'm going in with my green and doing my second uh, little chevrony thing. Um, and I'll do the same except I won't use the big brush now. I'm just going to, I'm just wiping some gel off my fingers. Made a bit of a mess with that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go in and do the next bit of the chevron and then stick that in for 60 seconds go over it again then go to the next color and do 60 seconds so it takes quite a while not as quick as putting the tips on unfortunately but it's all in the name of art <laughs> i'll leave you to watch this enjoy and i will pop back in in a minute I 
did cut some of the video out then um, as I was watching it I, it was kind of out of frame and stuff where I was trying to get it close to my face but there you can see we finished our chevron and I put um, a matte top coat over the top of that so we don't ruin it and now I'm going in with some foil gel which is also from the gel bottle and doing a nice liberal layer of that not too thick though and um, once I've put that on, I'll stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then come in with my foil. I couldn't tell you where this foil is from. I've got so much. Um, you can get them anywhere. It's just generic, like holographic-y kind of silvery foil. That, um, stick that on, give it a good rub. <laughs> Make sure that my nail's fully covered. And then I'm just going in and filling in any gaps where it hasn't stuck down because it's not like a proper pattern or anything, it doesn't matter if it's not coherent all the way through, it will look exactly the same. So I'm just tapping that on, making sure the whole nail is covered, filling in any little gaps. But with that silver that we've got underneath, if there is any little gaps, I doubt they'll be that noticeable. But there we go, love zips. And now I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat because when I paint on top of this um, and if I make any mistakes and wipe it, I'll wipe off my foil. So just going in with a nice bit of matte top coat, sticking that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I've got my palette and my liner brush back out again. And we're gonna do some squiggles. If I am um, doing any artwork on my nails and I need to put a top coat down, it's always best to do matte top coat because when you put shiny top coat down and then paint over the top of that, because it is so shiny, the, the gel polish has got nothing to cling to. It's the same reason why, why we would buff our nails or put rubber base or base coat is sticky and then our colour will stick to it. So that's why I've put matte top coat and this is also my favourite matte top coat from the gel bottle. So yeah, we saw there I went in with the blue steel and did a squiggle. Um, I did one coat, cured it for 60 seconds, did another coat and I cured it for about 30 seconds just so it doesn't bleed into this pink and I'm going to do a pink squiggle and I'll do the same, do two coats of that and then stick it, blah, one coat, stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds, do another coat and then I'll stick it in for about 20-30 seconds just so it doesn't bleed into the next colour. Uh, the pink I'm using here is from Geely and it's called Hot Pink. It's my favourite pink. You'll notice that when I paint a line, I'll do like the kind of squiggly line and then I'll go back in again and go round and just make sure that it's a perfect shape. I didn't record all of those because that would have taken forever. <laughs> this video is uh, rather long. So I carried on and used all the same colours again and did my squiggles and I've just stopped for a little heel break because it's been a long day and I haven't eaten anything but as you can see we've done all those lines and I'm just admiring my other hand of nails <laughs> but lost a charmer courtesy of my my puppy Judy she um, tried to chase a pigeon and the lead got caught on my finger and ripped it off and it, it really hurt so that uh, charm glue is really good <laughs> but that hurt anyway back to the i was gonna say the hand at hand the nail at hand whatever um i'm going on to do my thumb now and you can see the hollow hollow was it called um has a matte top coat on it because i just taking the dogs out for a quick walk and didn't want to have a sticky layer because you know dog hair yuck um and that's I think when I lost that charm because it was probably there before you might have noticed and now it's gone <laughs> anyway I'm go I would have given my nails a wipe down with alcohol even though they had the matte top coat just to make sure they're all nice and clean and then I'm going in with my liner brush and candy from gel bottle anytime I use a red I always use this, it's my favourite. So yep, going in and I'm doing another squiggle. And I put that in the lamp for 60 seconds, did a second coat, and now I'm going in with this mustard yellow that is from Geely, I believe, and doing my second line. 
and then I'll stick that in the lamp for another 60 seconds and then do a second coat in the lamp for 30 seconds <laughs> and on to the next colour and so on and so forth until we have all our squiggles. And there we have it, all done on that nail. And now I'm going on to my little finger. So on this finger, we're doing a bit of a rainbow French, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna do straight lines across and starting with the purple and so on and so forth. And you'll see I have spread through this a little bit just because we'll be here all day otherwise. Um, and you know, you only need to see me paint a couple of lines until you get the gist right. <laughs> And I've been doing the same as before, doing a line, sticking it in the lamp, doing a second coat, then another line and oh, get that out of frame, that's not good is it? <laughs> um, do one line, 60 seconds, second coat, 30 seconds, etc, etc. And now I'm going in with my matte top coat again, just covering that up. Oh, is it matte coat? My, oh no, I think this is... Um, rubber base because now we're going to do some 3D so I want it to have something to stick to and obviously before I had that matte top coat on there so we want to make it a little bit sticky so our uh, 3D gel has something to stick to and then once I've done that on the little finger I'm doing it on the thumb as well because we're going to do a bit of 3D on here too obviously that was sped up in the lamp for 60 seconds bring it out and now we have our uh, white 3D clay, which I haven't used before, so I've got to open it up. Um, if you want to see where this is from, um, as well as the glue that I used to stick the tips on with, I've got a nail haul, haul video. Um, I've got a load of stuff from like Teemu, AliExpress and Shein, and I've done a video on all of that. But anyway, isn't it nice when you've got new stuff, there's something about taking it out of the, the packet and oof. But anyway, yeah, I've taken a bit out and I'm just rubbing it between my fingers with a glove on, of course, because you don't want to rub that into your skin. And I'm struggling because obviously I've got <laughs> the fabric glove on one hand and I need a flat surface to roll it out. So I've just got the charm box, give it a little wipe and make sure there's no dust on it. And then I'll use that to roll out, I guess, like my rolling mat, chopping board, whatever you would use if you're cooking. And I want to roll it out and get a nice thin line. And this is to go on those two fingers that we uh, put the base coat on to make sticky. I used a cuticle pusher to get it out of the tub. And I used that to cut it as well. And I'm just rolling. Just rolling, 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 rolling. Hey! <laughs> now it's stuck to the charm container. <laughs> and I've mushed it trying to get it off. So I'm just rubbing it out again. I think I get my tweezers in a minute to pick it up. Or do I manage to get it? Oh, there we go. That's going to go there. I'm rolling it a bit more because I squished it. And I'm going to pull it down on either. And then I'm going to rip it off because something's wrong. <laughs> I think it was too thick. So just rubbing it, rolling it out, rolling it some more. If only I could use any music I want I would definitely insert a bit of um, what's it called Limp Biscuit there we go I've got my tweezers now no more smushing it and just pushing it into place so it's flush with that line and then I'll squeeze down the sides just to get rid of those the excess pieces I love these tweezers I think these are in one of my whole videos as well They've got that nice bit on the end. The silicone bit. It's good for foil as well, for rubbing on your foil. But I'm just using it instead of a silicone tool because I was obviously being lazy and couldn't be bothered to get one out. And then I'm using the tweezers to, like, like the scissors to cut the edges off. And then I'm just pushing that. Cute! 
bits. <laughs> I'm forever faffing. Once I finish faffing with that, I will stick it in the lamp. But that's the joy with these 3D gels. You can play around with them until you get them exactly how you like. And you can't do that with acrylic. I'm just wiping underneath to make sure there's no bits under there where I've cut it so it's nice and smooth because once it's set it will be like rock solid and that would drive me insane feeling that under the nail and then with that other bit that we had there that I was rolling out I'm just going to use my tweezers and lift it onto the thumbnail and do the same thing and just put it across the edge of our rainbow-ish thing <laughs> and use my silicone tool or my tweezers with the silicone on the end just to push it into shape exactly like we did on the little finger. I have sped this up a little bit because it is exactly the same as what we did on the little finger using the tweezers to push it into the right place and and then like trim it with the tweezers as well tidy up a little bit because I made a little mess there <laughs> where I squished it and I've put it I didn't put it down perfectly so I'm going to have to manipulate it for a little while and get it exactly where I want it God, I love to faff, don't I? Finally, we're done and cut that excess off. I'm finessing it a little bit more. I can see there's a bit on my skin. Hopefully, I notice that in a sec. I have noticed it and I'm dealing with it. <laughs> I think, yeah, I thought so. Um, I've got one of those little micro swab things with a bit of alcohol on it just to clean that off of my finger because you don't want uncured product on your skin, like I said before. And once it's set in the lamp, it would be a bugger to get it off. So I'm just using that to clean up a little bit. And apparently I'm using it as a moulding tool and then I realise that's not a good idea <laughs> and doing the same just wiping underneath making sure there's not anything there because it'll be annoying once it's cured and then you'll have to try and file it off and whatnot and that's just irritating too and when I finally stop faffing with that I stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and now we're going in with was that matte top coat yeah just cover it because remember we put that base coat on so that'll be sticky put matte top coat on that and cover the little bit of 3d with it as well it's already been in the lamp for 60 seconds but we'll go over it with this just to seal it in make sure it there's bleh, make sure it's fully uh stuck to the nail and there's not a gap or anything that little ridge would, would be perfect for stuff to get stuck in there and obviously the 3D gel I think is um, a little bit sticky as well. So I'm just going in with that, covering the whole nail. I sped this up a little bit because how many times do you need to see me paint a single nail? Um, make sure I've not got any on the skin there and then I'll do the same on the little finger just covering the bit of 3D and our rainbow and anywhere where I've got that, um, what do you call it on it, base coat because it'll be sticky. And then I stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now we're getting some more 3D gel. It wasn't part of the original plan, but I decided that the uh, squiggly finger there, my index finger, needs a bit of that 3D too, I've decided. So I just rolled it out and then realised I don't have any, a sticky base on there. So we're just going in with a bit of base coat and then in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'll stick that on there. I'm doing exactly what I did before, rolling it out on the uh, plastic charm box, picking it up with my tweezers and plonking it on top of the sticky base coat and then using my tweezers to manipulate it to where I want it to be. I've sped this up a little bit because you've already seen me do it. And once I've got that how I like it, I'll stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and I'm cleaning my tweezers off there because they're covered in that 3D gel. <laughs> Once I finish faffing, I do stick it in the lamp eventually. 
I'm cutting the ends off again. Um, and here I get a bit sticky. It's just uh, something you have to watch out for with the 3D gel. The more you handle it and the warmer it is, the stickier it is. <laughs> so I made a little mess there, but I've cleaned it up. And then I'll stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then again, I'm gonna, once it's cured in the lamp, I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat just to seal it in and cover up that rubber base coat because it'll be all sticky. And you'll see when I'm putting the top coat on that I'm going right up into the edges of that 3D gel. Um, rather than just painting downwards, um, you'll get like top coat pooling and it'll be all thick and you won't be able to see the shape and it'll just look a mess. But once I've done that, I get my hand file just to clean up the edges, make sure there's not too much of the 3D gel sticking out because it'll ruin our shape. And I think I did have a little bit sticking out underneath, so I'm just getting that off because it will drive me insane. Sensory issues, if you know, you know, right? <laughs> I've heard that's an ADHD thing, or maybe it's an everybody thing, I don't know, but oh, that would drive me insane. <laughs> I'd be like playing with it all day, that little lump underneath. Anyway, here we are, the nails are all matte. So I love them, even just like that, they're nice. But obviously I can't leave them like that. We've got our add some bling. Not only because they're pride nails, so they have to be extra fabulous, but because I'm extra AF and I love bling. I'm going in as usual with my McCart rhinestone glue. It's the best one I've used so far. I've not found another one that's better. If you do, hit me up and let me know in the comments if you've got a really good uh, rhinestone glue this one's probably going to run out soon because I've had it a while and I use it all the time but I do love it and I'm going on the marbled nail I've decided this is going to not be full bling but it's going to have quite a bit of bling um, all different colours and um, what I like to do if I'm doing that oh, that was my dog grunting then she's asleep um, I will put the bling gel everywhere I want it and then go over with the top coat because I know there's going to be a lot of bling on here. It'll be difficult to put the top coat on afterwards without getting it on the stone. So just lightly going over it because I don't want to wipe the gel off with my top coat. Um, that little heart there, I got a set of those I think from Amazon and it's got little ridges in it. So when you shake it, the stones go the right way up because that is really that's one of my pet peeves you know and you get your bling all out and it's all the wrong way up and you can't pick it up you have to faff with it so yeah it's good for that I've got a mixture of colors there it's like a bag of um, mixed colors that I've got I was just wiping the uh, the wax stick because it had a bit of gel on it and uh, it wouldn't pick up my stones but there we are I'm um, picking up the stones with my rhinestone picker which is very old and gross I do have a new one somewhere I'm not sure what I did with that but um, I'm using the colored stones and then I'm getting some uh, oh some more colors out of there and then also I use some of the I don't well not white and then a rainbow they kind of got a color shift to them I can't remember what they're called and um, just using a mixture of stones as I please they're all different sizes I never like to use all the same size the uh, crystals I just it doesn't look right but um using the metal end just to move them around and get them exactly where I want them Once I've finished adding enough bling to that finger, I stick a little bit here and there on the others. But I am, um, I'm afraid I didn't catch that on camera. I ran out of space. Um, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And if you've made it this far and you've watched this much of the video, you're the greatest. I love you. And please feel free to watch some of my other videos. And here we are.
after I've uh, finished putting the bling on, I've gone over with a shiny top coat on all the nails. You can see there's some bling on the farm too. But what do you think? I love these. I was sad to take them off. But I'm a mother <laughs> to two dogs and uh, having both hands with long nails just doesn't seem to work out so well. But there we are. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.